Hi, do you hear me? Hey, what's up, man? Good. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Just, uh, hi. Hey. Nice uh, have you slept? I did. I actually had a good night of sleep. Yesterday I only had four hours, but today I had like seven, I think. I really know because it's quite conflating since it's now it's New Europe in my part of Europe is something like 10 after 4 p.m. So and uh, today morning I talk already somebody uh, with people from from LA so it's quite confusing. I, I was thinking when you sleep. It's yeah like... I, I use this app to stay accountable uh, and yeah see seven point uh, one hours because it, like you actually forget how much you slept and then you're like damn like it, it really takes a, it a accumulates yeah but do you feel better i do actually yesterday was the first day when i had this kind of mental clarity because i also think that i'm getting some form of a confusion symptom the okay. past week was like i was really confused and like disoriented but it really, it's it's confirmed um, in your case that it's, it's... There's no way to confirm it or deny it. it. It's crazy. I was on a call with another doctor and I spent like 20 minutes talking to this doctor and she just told me there is no test. Like, there's nothing that they can do. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, yeah, it's kind of asymptomatic, but not at all i mean like you have symptoms but you don't i mean it's not severe to to let you test actually that's that's the case yeah and that's the crazy <laughs> part you know the system optimizes for people that are already dying but it's counterproductive because you're only producing more people that are dying in this way i don't know i'm i'm not expert so i don't like i, I wouldn't like to just yeah. express some my some very blurry ideas about it when <coughs> yeah when yeah. early i i have no uh, clue about how the system works no uh, deeper insights into biology or genetics so of this yeah, stuff so, me either and that's just uh, point of view that that i'm observing but anyways um i i actually had a chance to check out the latest <coughs> discovery engine video and i loved it like i i actually had no idea you guys reached the same uh conclusion that i did and the one that i presented to those researchers from rockefeller university uh to be honest actually now we are like uh because we have some argument like arguments it's a bad word um you let common have... speech because the things that you keep mentioning are the same things that you know everyone is is mentioning it's just the fact that you guys don't understand each other because you come from different backgrounds and from different perspectives so even like rose and john and anton and you and slava you all talk about the same thing at least like from what i'm seeing it's just approaching it from different angles <coughs> uh, yes and no i mean like i just because uh yeah i mean like now i i, I saw some some thread on slack uh, between uh, slava and john both trying to figure out the thing uh and i think that in this way we, we're slowly approaching some common uh, point Did where we know. can understand mutually of course it takes time and uh, one thing i mean like one thing that uh, <coughs> we need all, always take into account uh, are definitions because very often it's like and uh, to be very cautious about the language not because of to not offend somebody or things like that but just to use words that can be I uh, understand uh, by people from different domains on different levels because if somebody uh, starts talking about pruning data then it's a, a huge warning bell by many other people uh, waiting for those data 
thinking that actually, okay, those data will be biased somehow yeah. by the fact that they are pruned uh, through. Yeah, that I, I that that what I'm trying to let's say to, to like to put in order in minimal order, and yeah, uh, we'll see. I mean, like yeah. I I think that's also it's a part just because people are uh, have a huge experience in different domains, and at the same time they try to um, to give hundred uh, percent the expert their res respective expertise into the project, I what like uh, put in the shadows also, let's say, the point of view of other people, Ma making this quite blurry for the others, or not clear. Yeah, uh, I and see that. Of course, uh, and, and of course, I, I understand that everyone has uh, his, her own ambitions to like to, to uh, like to the direction to, to, of yeah to give you a direction to the whole and the point is that uh, very often and once again plus the fact that we don't have very often uh, the same definitions for the same Concepts. things uh, plus the fact that okay that uh, some people started complaining about uh, that the half hour uh, talk on zoom is not enough a, day, a daily talk i mean Mm -hmm. etc it it um it creates a kind of atmosphere of uh things falling apart yeah and yeah I, i'm trying to uh, to be productive in the in the sense that to to keep this uh, we're going building and we're building an airplane while flying in it and yeah something actually yeah something like that um <coughs> uh, um, and it's tough yeah. and this is what you know I've been doing for the first first couple of weeks like no direction no clear direction all the people want to move in different directions and you somehow have to find this common language and the best thing that worked for us is actually this creative redundancy of having separate teams working on you know similar things in different ways and that way you know people were able to take their unique expertise and apply it towards the, the common goal in, in the way that they thought was the most applicable. And I, I refer to this as, you know, this fractal structure yeah. you know, where people uh, kind of grow, 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 but then there's a time to unbundle into separate uh, fractals. Yeah, yes and no, because for instance, from the perspective of Slava who wants, uh, uh, who wants to provide a, um, common infrastructure we need a one starting point for everyone like it's uh, and then is also uh, and i think that it must be uh, communicated very clearly what does it mean um, because very often it's always this this kind of a uh, the threat that uh, uh, something will will be missed or something will be biased yeah, or something this, will be. this discussion between the specific or the infrastructure is actually the biggest confusion point because it's a very hard concept to grasp and communicate. You know, the refinery is a good analogy, but it's also a hard one because you kind of have to construct that mental model of the process and the supply chain. But in reality, yeah, we have to have that platform to have different teams grow on top of, of that. Yeah, sure. I mean, like it's it's uh, it's nicely described, but then uh, back uh, back in in work in uh, let's say in workflow, it's quite difficult. I mean, like it's not difficult. I I I, I find it very interesting for me personally, but still, uh, yeah, it's I think it's hard work to. Uh, I I actually believe it's easier to implement than to describe you know uh no because actually we when you want to implement some implement uh something you need to know what you implement. i mean like you need to like you don't implement something it's yeah. something that must be shown we must be already uh, clear for almost everyone and uh yeah i mean that, that's why i want to have those conversations today tomorrow to to sort it out finally somehow 
and yeah and you actually you um, proposed i mean because i don't understood it i, I didn't understand quite correctly your uh, your message on um, on slack about uh, this call with people from uh, which university was it uh, Rockefeller, columbia. Rockefeller, columbia um yes uh, what is the point uh, you want to to merge teams to build this because actually now in in this uh, search engine uh, channel or team we are attempting or with we are thinking about uh, we think about uh, discovery engine like and for discovery engine of course we need a, a solid database and like a functional database it's something that the slava is working on and yeah mm, What's your idea about it? Uh, let me try to assess the context that, that you have so far, because that's actually something that I learned through the past few weeks. Um, like, I, I need to understand what level you're operating right now to better communicate to you. So uh, have you watched the video with the rocket phone? I started. Started. I started. Okay. Sorry, Sorry, but there's, there's too much things. stuff. Yeah, too much. I mean, like... <laughs> Yeah, it it not. It, I, I want just to watch and like to have time also to reflect on about yeah. it and not yeah. just watching, coding, writing, and I don't know eating. So I would time. actually say that it's it's a very important video to watch to prioritize because it actually um, it it sets some common uh, common direction for us to be working within, and essentially like I described that. Um, you've seen the diagram that I, uh, yep. right. Um, let me share my screen. This one. Um, so it, it was very, very hard to explain these pieces to researchers that have no clue what, what we're doing, but I think that they actually converge to understanding it through their own, um, examples of the problems they're facing. Because one guy was explaining that he's missing unified data uh, infrastructure because he has to go to these PDFs, other PDFs, and other places. Another person, virologist, mentioned that she's actually lacking a way to um, to infer information um, from like many different papers on types of trials, types of uh, mice that they used types of animals they used and things like that, which is basically this ontology engine that we're referring to. And essentially they, they confirm that the AI powered literature review tool is an amazing tool if it would exist. And that video sets the right direction for us to be working on in terms of priorities and kind of separate teams too, because the data infrastructure is going to be a separate team from ontology engine those are two different teams two different problems to solve and also two different expertise points because slava is more like data infrastructure yeah. guy. he has nothing to do with the machine learning extraction of entities and embeddings he can provide some useful feedback on that and integrate it into the infrastructure but those are different things and obviously the actual product is also separate team. It's like, it, it has nothing to do with the actual data infrastructure. Yeah. <coughs> yeah but, uh, now but then, the, uh, the, the problem mm -hmm. is how to make it happen, right? Yeah, I, uh, I, don't, I don't have an answer for that yet. And that's why uh, one of I you... think that uh, <coughs> like, it's like, the, it seems that the first step is always data infrastructure because all others or other higher le or lower level, depending depend. on your perspective, yeah. uh, must depend on that. But if, if you want to have one thing, because we can also think about ontology engine being completely <coughs> run on uh, on data independently from uh, data structure, in the data infrastructure part, like you have your own database for ontology, your, your own database with, for AI powered literature review tool, etc. Uh, but it's not the 
point to build a data infrastructure. Data infrastructure is like starting point for everyone and also a kind of an ecosystem to, yeah. um, because like we can fit. Your, yeah. I like your idea of explaining the multi, multi-dimensional filtering. And I think it, it's absolutely on point, except no one understands it. Uh, I th- um, there was no question about it, so I thought it's like it's clear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, it's, the biggest it's, it's learning clear. that I have is the fact that I sometimes explain stuff and then no one asks question, and that's the first sign of the fact that no one understood anything. Okay, uh, <laughs> like it's quite con- contradictory. No, it's just, just like. Uh, this graph with, uh, maybe I can find it. You know, for people to be able to ask questions, they need a reference point of understanding. And if they have none, it's impossible for them to ask questions. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, okay. So this, uh, as if something like talking in Chinese and then you don't know, Yeah. actually. You try to be polite, so yeah. you keep shut up. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, no, um, but uh, seriously, uh, I think that, okay, but it was something, I mean, like this idea that we, ha- we can filter, uh, we, we can we have different ty- types of possible filters like elastic search, metadata, etc. That was everything already discussed in our uh, meetings. It's not, it, it wasn't something that I came up with, yeah. just the idea over, from over the night. <laughs> you formalize it, and that's the the reason why I I want you to help lead these calls, and you're already doing it within the search engine. I just want you to kind of um, first of all, the thing that I want to establish is move away from the private channel because I think we finally have structure to kind of uh, involve more people. Uh, mm-hmm. And the th- second thing that I want to do is kind of imagine this fractal growing, right? We're already like super grown, and now we need to spur out the uh, specific teams that are focused on yeah. specific things because we are actually creating an environment that is counterproductive for Slava to be working on things because other people are like, no, we should be creating ontology engine. No, we should be creating embeddings. Okay, yeah, I mean, like, it, it makes sense, like, to give everyone uh, his, her own uh, workflow space, something like that. Uh, that that for, that's for sure. Uh, I think more about, like, how to, uh, uh, like, to ensure that communication, for instance, between Slava and, like, data infrastructure part and, other people uh, will be uh, will be uh, so we face, face the yeah. same thing with multiple teams on the fe- first round of uh, Kaggle submission and the only thing that really worked was the coordinators which were the people that resemble this kind of um, communication slash project managing uh, skill set that were able to jump from team to team understand the the common you know language understand the common intersections in the work and how to connect these different pieces and that's how it worked for example um, maya was able to go into nlp stack or data sets team and ask them specifically for the things that she needed and you know there was yason who was also bridging the gap between different teams so i think that's the only um, that's the best structure we've so far invented. I think there are many more that are going to be more efficient, but that's the one that I think <coughs> will work the best for now. Yeah, I, okay, but we, okay, that's communication, that's clear. But I, I thought more of uh, kind of uh, um, interdependencies in terms of data structure or data base, uh, like the same uh, working. I I got it. Um, I understood you basically how to connect the actual like technology pieces, right? Yeah. And I think we have to. Environment. Yes. Abstract away from the actual work and make assumptions on the interfaces. So for example, we can help um, data infrastructure team create and document their preferred way to uh, interface with 
or whatever. So for example, Slava, I know that he already created some interfaces for people to be able to use our data sets in Google Colab, except no one knows how, how to do it. So like we need to create this like almost documentation, right? Like this is the way how you can use the data infrastructure, even if it doesn't exist yet. That way we can abstract away from the implementation and work on the interface level versus the actual details. Because it doesn't matter how Slava creates the data infrastructure. The only thing that matters for Ontology Engine is how uh, you can use it. Yep. Okay. <coughs> okay. Mm. It's a hard problem. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's in words, it's quite comprehensible, but now it's like how you <laughs> handle it uh, practically. Uh, what what do you, uh, what uh, what what do you have to say to people? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I think. Um, mm, but yeah, the, the, my question was originally that: uh, Do we are we going to merge with some external people on uh, this this discovery engine, or it was just an exchange? That was a change on getting okay. feedback and establishing a channel of communication to direct us at a more efficient uh, ontology engine because yeah. they're not experts at you know, creating data infrastructure and they have no clue how it should be interfaced with. But what they are experts uh, at is actually working with uh, papers and they have mental models on like how they do literature review, which things they need uh, from, from papers. And we can use that as an input for ontology engine team to, again, abstract away from implementation and create an interface level for the AA powered literature you told. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, I, I mean, like the, the picture for me is clear. Uh, now it's just, uh, I need to talk with, people about it and uh, ensure that almost everyone is more or less on the same page. Uh, it takes a couple of times to try and communicate that. Trust me. Yeah, I mean, like, <coughs> I am quite optimistic about it. It's just as already thought that was, uh, yeah, first uh, the, the matter of, of communication like the, and the matter of definitions, okay, we, we cannot call two or three different things with the same work and uh, vice versa. Uh, and yeah. Okay, uh, sounds great then. So to follow up, I would highly recommend you to check out the, the video. Uh, and because there are actually actionable things that we can uh, start doing from the ontology engine side of things. The yeah. second thing I would um, propose uh, I will try to join the search engine call today and maybe I'll also promote it as a call for this discovery engine and we'll better test this kind of convergence and, and see what happens, but also propose um, unbundling this uh, everything into three different teams and creating three separate uh, chan <coughs> channels to focus uh, on. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time, uh, time it's those teams are not uh, like uh, those uh, those tasks tasks for for those teams are not separate mm -hmm. uh, missions. Sure. They're inter interconnected. Yeah, I mean, from the beginning on, like it's not something. That, uh, yeah, just I I wanted to to underscore it. Um, and maybe the okay. circle structure is not the best way. Yeah, because now it's like something like data infrastructure is the smallest part of everything. Yeah. It would be uh, vice versa in the sense that it should be, it's, it's the bottom line for everyone. And then you can um, build up a kind of uh, mask oh, of fire pyramid or uh, something like that. So the basic is the, the data, data infrastructure. Then you can have some ontology. Okay. The, so this picture is wrong, actually. I need to make arrows from like the data infrastructure yeah. to this. Yeah, because now it's like, uh, <coughs> it seems that the data infrastructure is a, a subset of discovery yeah. engine. Yeah. 
something like that. And, and that's, that's only because I, I view it uh, like that, but now I get it, what, what's wrong. So I'll... Okay, because now, now, now okay, if you, if you do be a kind of a graph uh, depicting a kind of growth, okay. So, but like in terms also of like uh, size, uh, data infrastructure is the biggest one. Yeah. All the rest is, is just a kind of, a, a, not parasite, but a kind of a, a smaller part dependent on in, uh, data infrastructure. And data infrastructure is independent from discovery engine. Like Yeah, because my level of abstraction works in terms of the actual like uh, use of it, you know? Uh, but what you're explaining is the amount of uh, data that it produces. Slava, Slava's point is also to, to make this the kind of a common database in the sense that everyone can uh, have a grasp uh, on it, can use it, reuse it, uh, enrich if it's mm -hmm. necessary, so that it's like this, it, this is our real initial yeah. point. And all the rest is a kind of a, a product, uh, of that. A pro product or a next layer. Yep, I agree. It, and honestly, this this is a beautiful vision that Slava joined us with, and I didn't understand it at first because, again, different experiences. And he has been doing it for like twenty years, and I haven't. So that was, you know, I had to yeah. spend some time to understand it. Now I get it, and I'm uh, fully on board. Okay, cool. Uh, All right, sounds I think good. We, yeah, sounds good. Uh, so, uh, okay, and uh, just to, uh, in terms of uh, uh, video recommendations, uh, Slava put also a, a kind of an introduction video on uh, common databases or something like that. I saw it today. I need to catch yeah. up on them. Yeah, it's also some Great. one hour, something like that. So, uh, but it's uh, it's essential in the sense that if you understand this video, you understand, then you understand Slava, then I actually, you we cannot say. need an onboarding to the Discovery Engine team, you know? These are the things that you have to understand before, you know, engaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, on the other hand, I, I can understand people that are coming from other teams, they, they don't have time now to spend a couple of hours reading our uh, drafts or, yeah. or uh, uh, following all our uh, daily calls yeah. but it's still balance. it's like uh, we are already two weeks together so some uh, some questions are already elaborated so yeah. Yeah. sorry <laughs> All right, man. I, I love your straightforwardness and definitely a, a culture thing too. I mean, like you are in mid semester, so <laughs> introduction right. introduction lecture is, is already. Yeah. Uh, All right. Go. Sounds good, man. So, uh, what time is the the call uh, today? Mm, it's right after. Uh, ten thirty. <coughs> okay. I'll, I'll make it happen. I'll... Directly after our daily call, general daily yeah. call. I'll let you lead it and I'll jump in wherever I, I see. Yeah, you. if you could, that's, that's awesome. All right. And I'll upload okay. the, this video and yeah. hopefully someone will find it useful too. Maybe. maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe. All right, let's hope. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, stay, I mean, uh, become more healthy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, stay healthy, it's not, not applicable. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Right. okay. See ya.